Hey everyone, Zero again. Today I'm going to be doing a request from my friend Sol. He wanted me to try Commander Keen Episode 5, The Armageddon Machine. And as a kid, I knew of the series, but I never actually owned any of the games, so I've never played it before. So this is going to be a blind run, which I think will be pretty interesting, since I don't know what to expect. And I'm playing it in DOSBox. And I need to configure the joystick because I prefer using the joystick keyboard for this, even though I have to use the two button firing, which is a little annoying, but I'll have to just deal with it. So we're going to play it on normal. Now, I haven't played any of the games before, but I read up a little bit on it just so I can kind of know where the story is at and how you actually play the game. First, I'm just going to save at the start. And I like the fact that I can save anytime I want, which will make this easy if I repeatedly die, because, oops. Cause I'm sure that's going to happen a lot. Especially with this pogo stick jumping, I'm still trying to get used to it. Now, this is not a speed run, so expect this to take a little while. I'm going to try to grab every single piece of candy and whatnot, but I'll try to grab as many as I can. Oh, shit. Oh, how did I not die? I should have died from that. Yeah. Stun your ass. I know that in the older games, the gun was actually different. Rather than stunning, you actually killed your enemies. Now they just get stunned, and they're pretty much... They stay stunned for the rest of the room. I know that some of them don't, though. It's annoying, because I have to press both buttons at the same time to shoot. Sometimes I accidentally jump instead, or pull up the pogo, or jump and then fire when I didn't mean to. And it's probably going to get me killed a few times. Grab some ammo. Oh, shit. Now, this is a blind run, but I have done this first room just really quickly, just when I was getting used to the controls. So I wasn't going in completely oblivious to how to play this game. But after this room, I have no idea what to expect. So that's when the fun really will begin. So I have no idea what's coming up. And these green bottles, I forget what it's called. What's it called? Vitalin? Uh, if you grab a hundred of those, I know you get an extra life, and at, I think 20,000 points, you get an extra life as well. Which is also why I'm going to be, damn, which is why I'm also going to be trying to grab as many as I can. I know you can save at any point, but still, it'll be nice to have extra lives. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, <laughs> he like turned around and just shot my ass. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, that was a terrible start. Screw it, I'm just gonna run through this room then. I figured he would just keep on waltzing around and I could just shoot him in the back, but no, he just turned around and shot me first. That's a terrible way to start. Yeah. Alright, let's just get to the exit. Ah, I'm trying to get used to the control still. It's hard to remember. Gotta get off my pogo stick first. Yeah, take that. Now let's get out of this room. Struts through the security center. Alright, so from here on out, 
I have no idea what to expect, so at least at the start of every level I'm gonna save the game. Just so in case I run out of all my lives. I'm assuming I can't touch those. Oh, god damn it. Ah, you little purple bastard. Marshmallows! Yeah, I'm gonna take out all your friends. Oh shit! Seems like when those spark things notice you, they they go for you. Ha! Didn't see me this time, did you? That gem I just picked up, I believe that's for opening doors. Maybe like this? I don't know. Look up first. I don't want to be jumping into the, to death. Ah. Oh. oh shit! <laughs> Damn, they're fast. I tried to turn around and shoot, but I was stuck on my pogo stick. Ah. Yeah, expect a lot of that. Expect me to die a lot. Both because I've never played this before, and because it's hard using this joystick for shooting. Uh, not this time. What is that chocolate milkshake? Come here. Oh, do I have to get the... Oh, I have to get the key again, the gem again, don't I? Yeah, I probably do. Unless the room becomes excessively annoying or difficult, I'm going to try to avoid just... save loading, save loading every two seconds. Unless I majorly screw up and need to actually load. Okay. Huh. So, uh, wait a minute. That's right, you have to press up. Place the gem. Because I did read the help me file. The help file. Help me file. Not read me. Help file. To get an idea of some of the different like enemies and how the gems work. Well, I picked up the blue one. Where do I put it now? I don't recall seeing one spot. Oh, shit. Damn it, so he keeps jumping and shooting. It's a waste of my ammo. Shoot you in the back. Can I do anything with this? No. Where's this pole? Ah, switch. What did that do? Well, it did something. Ah, it opened this gate up here. Ah, I see, and it has the symbol next to it, so you can tell which which door it opens. Put the blue gem in. Oh, nice. That's the way I need to go. Up there. So how do I get up there? Oh, no you don't. Oh, no, not you either. Mm, candy! And I think I just got an extra life. Oh! Do not want to touch that. Oh man, platform jumping. Um. No. Uh, oh, did I go the wrong way? Yeah, I went the wrong way. I see. I see how you have to do it. Can I jump on that? I don't know. Probably not. Oh shit! Went back. Oh man! Ah. 
Well, I'm um, running out of time, so I'm going to cut this one here, and we're going to try again. So I'll see you in the next video.